Good morning. Welcome to First Lutheran Church here in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. I'm glad that you are with us today. I pray that your day will be uh, meaningful in many ways, uh, prayerful, uh, spiritual, and uh, maybe just a break from your week, daily, and weekly activities. A few announcements. Today is November 1st. It's also All Saints Sunday, so we will be uh, remembering all the folks from our congregation who have passed away from starting from last year of All Saints Sunday to this year. So we name all those people and we light a candle in memory of them. Their name will be read, a candle will be lit, and at the end of this service you will be able to see their name and a uh, date. Uh, so stay tuned after the service to view that as well. A couple other announcements. Uh, if you look at, well, if we think about upcoming events in the church here, uh, next week is Veterans Day, so there'll be a video. You still have time to get a photo in if you have been uh, trying to get your photo in for this Veterans Day uh, uh, presentation that we do here at the church. So get that in right away, like Monday, Tuesday would be great. And the Ministry of Military Care Packages are going to take place again this year, so you want to get those into the office, check your focus, your, uh, uh, check the website for information, check your e-news and those things. Give the church a call, email one of us if you have questions. Holiday baskets are also a ministry that's going to continue this year, so they're going to need your support. Uh, decorating for Christmas is going to need some help. And know that Sunday school and confirmation is in session uh, through our virtual uh, way of reaching out uh, that's all virtual this year and it is uh, exciting for some of us and probably not for all of you but we are working hard to make it uh, spiritually connecting and meaningful for you so lots of things going on today and uh, uh, thank you again for being with us let us direct our hearts and minds for worship We welcome you to worship in the name of God, our creator, our redeemer, who walks with us and promises to be with us every step of our lives. Our confession nope. and forgiveness. Nope. nope. The gathering song. Yeah. 
proclaims to us, Behold, I'm making all things new. O God, as you make all things new, make us new as well. We give up to you our limitations, our weaknesses, our shortcomings, our failures. Make us clean, make us whole, make us holy. There is good news for us. Jesus was crucified for our, self, for our thanks, for our forgiveness, and raised from the dead that we can live a new life. We are God's new creation in Christ. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we are a chosen people, but sometimes we don't feel like anyone would choose us. Sometimes we feel our best friends and our family doesn't even know us. It seems the pressures of the world are too much for one person alone. Help us remember, Lord, that each of us is specifically chosen to be part of your family, to follow in the footsteps that Jesus walked. And though the road may be difficult, help us today to feel the presence of your spirit holding us forever in your family. We'll have our lesson. Our reading for today is Psalm 34, verses 1 through 10. Praise for deliverance from trouble. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, Happy are those who take refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack, lack no good thing. Here ends the reading. Our gospel reading for this day comes from the Gospel of Matthew, the fifth chapter. Then Jesus saw the crowds. He went up the mountain, and he sat down, and his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak, taught them, saying, Blessed are you, the poor in spirit, for there's the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely 
on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the coming and living Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Today is All Saints Sunday. And our Gospel lesson today, the Gospel of Matthew, offers up this reading, this story, this lesson of Jesus. When he got up to the mount, it's called his Sermon on the Mount. Once he got up to that mount, to that mountain, and sat down and began to teach his disciples. Those scholars who have studied this text have often said that when Jesus sat down, when he opened his mouth, and to begin to preach and teach. He oft also opened the gate, the way to the kingdom of heaven for all those who believe. Jesus, when he opened his mouth, he opened a way for us to have eternal life. Yes, through his life, his death, and his resurrection, and his ascension back up to the Father in heaven. death. Today being All Saints Sunday, we do remember those who have gone before us, our mothers and fathers, our grandparents, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters of the faith, those we sat next to in church, those we sat across from at the dining room, maybe having coffee, those that we loved, those that maybe we feel we barely knew, but we miss the saints. The saints are not only those who have now, now died and are with God, but those who are even still living, those who live by faith, not by sight. But it is this day that we hear this gospel lesson, the Beatitudes. It comes to us offering comfort, words of peace, but also words of life, words of hope. Yes, we live in a world filled with death, certainly during these times, the, the pandemic, the coronavirus, and, well, war, terrorism, bloodshed, violence, hatred, death. It's all around us. We may even be afraid of it. But Jesus offers these words of comfort, these words of life, the words that he is with us always, that he has prepared a place for us, that he has opened the doors to the kingdom of heaven. Now, um, Apostle Paul in Romans, he writes in Romans chapter 6, and we read this at most funerals, and these are words of comfort. These are words of truth. Paul writes that when we were baptized in Christ Jesus, so baptism is very significant here. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, that we too might live a new life. For if we've been united with Christ in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. So in the teaching and the preaching of Jesus, opening a way for us to receive eternal life with him, today we honor those who have gone before us. We remember them, and we trust in the Lord's promise that he will be with them. He has received them, and these beloved are now resting in the Lord's arms. We name them now, and we light a candle in their memory. We give thanks for all the saints who've gone before us, especially those who died this last year. Through their faithful witness, we continue to set our hope on Jesus Christ. 
Wendy Fry, Marilyn Affelt, Betty Maurer, Alice Ehlenfelt, Eleanor Newman, Roger Woolenberg, Bernadine Saloff, Pearl Reek, Arlene Shea, Bill Swan, Floyd Ferries, Virginia Wynn, Albert Jim Thurnberg, Donna Whittle, Juanita Kensicker, Dorothy Hook, Richard Dick Anthus, Ruth Preuss, Rosemary Smith, Verna Vikovic, Dale Bainey, Arlene Newman, Gwen Glenn Coleman. Let us pray. Most merciful God, we give you thanks for life as we know it. We will also give you thanks for receiving us in your mighty keeping, preparing a place for us, coming to us, giving us yourself, dying for us, and rising for us, offering new life. We pray that you will continue to keep these folks that we've named, those who are dear to us, and those that we've named in our hearts and minds that were not remembered in word and in candle lighting today. But we offer them up to you, O God, knowing that you are the author of life, you are the sustainer of life, and you are also the one who offers new life. We thank you for life in itself, until the day that we ourselves can stand in your presence and be surrounded by all of your saints, by all those who have gone before us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a peace I've come to know. Though my heart and flesh may fail, there's an anchor for my soul. And I can say it is well. Jesus has overcome. And the grave is overwhelmed. The victory is won. He is risen from the dead. I will rise when he calls my name. No more sorrow, no more pain. I will rise on eagle's wings before my God, fall on my knees and rise. I will rise. There's a day that's drawing. When this darkness breaks to light And the shadows disappear And my faith shall be my eyes Jesus 
has overcome and the grave is overwhelmed the victory is won he is risen from the dead and I will rise when he calls my name no more sorrow no more pain I will rise on eagles wings before my God fall on my knees and rise I will rise and I hear the voice of men and the angels sing worthy is the Lamb and I hear the cry of every longing heart worthy is the Lamb and I hear the the body of Christ and the community of believers, hear these words of affirmation and reflect on your own journey of faith. We believe God is our creator and has promised to love us always. We believe Jesus Christ, fully God, fully human, experienced all the pain and joy and challenges of human life. God's forgiving love was revealed to us when Jesus suffered death on the cross. He came back to new life and has promised us new life in unity with God. We believe the Holy Spirit is God's promise, touching our spirits, guiding us, even through the darkest and most difficult moments of our lives. We believe God is among us in community, mysterious yet very real. God promises to be with us always, even to the end of the age. And now, let us remember all the saints who have served the church and the world. We praise you, O oh God, for all the saints who lived in communion with animals, with the earth, and the sea. Bless the earth that all creatures who live out your intention for their places in creation. We praise you, O oh God, for all the saints who were peacemakers. Give us now government authorities who will strive for peace between and within their nations. We praise you, O oh God, for all the saints who strove for equality and justice. Guide us during this election week 
that those who seek the common good will be elected, pro protect those who vote, and preserve our nation from all forms of civil discord. We praise you, O God, for all the saints who ministered to the needy. Give us now people who will care for those in need. We pray for those in need, the war-torn, the unemployed, those who experience discrimination, those who are weighed down with anxiety, and those whose needs are known only to you. We praise you, O oh God, for all the saints who nursed the sick, support physicians, nurses, and all medical staff, especially as they confront the continuing crisis of the coronavirus. We praise you, O oh God, for all the faithful who have suffered in body, mind, or spirit. Give wholeness to the sick, especially to those with the coronavirus. Send your healing power on those whose names we call out to you now. Vern, Bev, Betty, Richard, Jensen, Brenda, Harvey, Wendy, Landon, Amy, Justin, Eileen, Jerry, Sally, Davy, Dale, Sue, Tim, Ellen, Bill, Sandy, Oliver, Judy, John, Christina, Ron, and Jackie. We praise you, O oh God, for all the saints, both the famous and the forgotten, who lived in faith and now live in you. We thank you, O oh God, especially for those whom we named here today. Bless us at the last, bring us at the last with them to be in your triune presence. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to you, O God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We take a moment in our service to uh, give thanks and to God for first fruits, for offerings, for offerings given in uh, uh, volunteers, offering in uh, first fruit uh, financial support, in all the ways that the church is uh, uplifted. O oh God, in response to your promise of life, we offer our life. In response to promise of your love, we offer our love. And in response to all of your promises, we offer our gifts. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Lord, teach us how to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now for a benediction and dismissal. Go into the world knowing that Christ is with you. Be Christ's body. Tell Christ's story to all that you meet and live Christ's life on behalf of the world. The earth and everyone who lives in it belongs to God. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds centered on Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Your perfect love is casting out fear. And even when I'm caught in the middle of the storms of this life, I won't turn back, I know you are near. And I will fear no evil, for my God is with if my God is with me, whom then shall I fear? Whom then shall I fear? Oh, no, you never let go. Through the calm and through the storm. Oh, no, you never let go. Every high and every low. Oh, no, you never let go, Lord. You never let go of me. Light that is coming for the heart that, that holds on. A glorious light beyond all compare. And there will be an end to these troubles, but until that day comes, I'll live to know you here on the earth. I will fear no evil, for my God is with My God is with me. Whom then shall I fear? Whom then shall I fear? Oh no, you never let go through the calm and through the storm. Oh no, you never let go every high and every low. Oh no, you never let go. I can see a light that is coming for the heart that holds on. And there will be an end to these troubles, but until that day comes, still I will praise you, still I will praise you. Yes, I can see a light that is coming for the heart that holds on. There will be an end. To these troubles, but until that day comes, still I will praise you, still I will praise you. Oh no, you never let go through the calm and through the storm. Oh no, you never let go in every high and every low. Oh no, you never let go. Never let